What do I have for my race day breakfast? Well stay tuned, because here's five breakfasts for runners. Good morning everybody, my name is Ben Parks, 236 marathoner and ultra runner. And what I want to talk to you today about is breakfast and how important it is to get our day started right with that new healthy, nutritious, balanced breakfast to get the morning up and running. So yeah, so many of us today really, really time poor. We've never got enough time in the day, especially in the morning, we've got to take the kids to school, we've got to get to the office, we've got to get out for a morning run, whatever it is, breakfast really seems to be the most neglected meal of the day. So I've got four really easy, super simple, super quick breakfast ideas that I use throughout the week to get my day started right. And then right at the end, I've got a special bonus fifth uh, option, which is what I do for my race day morning breakfast. So follow along for that. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and let's get cooking. <laughs> is what is it it's overnight oats <laughs> nearly had you there so basically this is you need to make this the night before so just before you're going to bed you can get this all prepared in the fridge and then when you get up in the morning it's just ready to go pull out the fridge eat it straight away eat it yeah it's just ready to go so this is what I do I like to do this probably two or three times a week so the first thing you need is some oats um, I normally just use the jumbo oats but like the more finely grained oats are okay, but there's a bit more texture with the jumbo oats. So about 100 grams of uh, these, I've got these on my, on my little scales here. So yeah, what I tend to do, it's about 100 there, um, make, the, make this all in um, like one of these plastic boxes because you need to put the lid on it to seal it. So yeah, 100 grams of oats, and then I then add some fruit, and I buy these big bags in Tesco's. These are imperfect mixed berries, because they're cheap. Why imperfect, I don't really know, but it's a berry at the end of the day, so that's super cheap. That's about three pounds, that massive bag. So we've got uh, blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries in there. So just chuck a few of those in there. And then also, uh, that's at the frozen section, by the way. And then got some blueberries as well. These were like three for five pounds in Tesco's again. So add some blueberries in there, really good antioxidants, super food. Some of that in there. And then what else are you adding? Some chia seeds. Chia seeds go in pretty much everything I eat these days. So whack some of those in. A um, few seeds, so sunflower seeds, and these little things. You can probably buy the cheaper, that's about 90p for that little uh, packet there. And then some pumpkin seeds as well really healthy seeds. Um, sultanas, um, where's my knife? Um, some sultanas, get those in there. That was about 90p, everything's kind of 90p today. Um, and then to top it all off, add some peanut butter in. I get these uh, big tubs of peanut butter on Amazon, so just chuck that in there for a little bit of extra flavour. And then obviously you need to add in your milk. So I normally use the like the more vegany milk. So this is the almond almond milk. Um, um, I don't really know how much you're going to put in. Probably about 120, 140 millilitres. But just give it a good a good soaking, a good covering. And where's my spoon gone? And then just give it a really good really good mix around. Get everything covered nicely. If you can see that there, just giving that really good mix around. Now this is quite a big portion, um, probably for most people, about probably half of it to be, to be right to be fair, but I like to really get things going in the morning. And then, yeah, you just need to make sure that you seal it with the lid um, completely airtight. Um, I've got these lock and lock boxes, which uh, again, I've got on Amazon. So just get that nice and sealed, completely airtight. And then that's kind of going to be ready in about two or three hours. 
uh, but yeah, most people leave it overnight and then it just sort of, the oats just sort of soften up and the fruit will defrost and you've got a really nice, super healthy, kind of mess there, but it, it does taste great and it's gonna get your day off to a really good start. So I'm gonna go and put that in the fridge now and then we'll see what that looks like in a few hours. And give it a taste. Six and a half hours later. So yeah, by the time you get to the next day, you're left with this really gooey, lovely, healthy mess. All of the sort of fruits have all defrosted and uh, the oats have sort of soaked up the milk and the chia seeds have sort of congealed a bit and you're just left with this super tasty, really, really healthy breakfast. Um, so get that down you and your day is onto a winner. is chia pudding. Now chia seeds are these little tiny, I don't know if you can see in there, these little tiny black seeds. I buy them, yeah, on the internet because they're a little bit cheaper than buying the supermarket, but wherever, whatever, whatever your diet is, you've got to get some of these in your diet really good. I, like most people, read this book, maybe one of the best running books ever read. Chris McDougall's book all about the, I can never pronounce this, the Tarahumana uh, tribe out in the Copper Canyons in Mexico and they fuel their whole running diet off these things. That's how I found out about them. But yeah, get some of those in your diet. So this is what I like to do. So, um, again, I like to make quite a big portion. So you, you're trying to get your milk to chia portion about four to one. Um, so I tend to, make a just about a pint and this is coconut milk works really well I think a lot better with coconut milk as opposed to almond milk just tastier and it just kind of just um, turns into like this jelly type substance um, a little bit better so again just making everything in a little plastic container so that goes in there and then yeah as I say you want about a quarter then um, of your chia seeds and now that's all gonna stick to the side, isn't it? But we'll get most of them in there. And let's just swish that out a little bit. Get, don't, wanna, don't wanna waste them. And then into that as well, you want to add some honey. Now, if you're vegan um, and you don't want to be eating honey, then you can get this stuff. Um, it's really sticky, called a Garvey nectar. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like honey. So use some of that if you're vegan. Um, or yeah, some vegans like to eat regular honey anyway. So I like to just put a tiny bit, just a little bit of honey in the top there. Uh, vanilla extract, um, yeah, just a tiny bit, just to give that a little bit more of a flavor. Chia seeds don't have the most amount of flavor. So just, just a smidge of that in there and then Optional, extra at the end, some cinnamon. Um, I'm a bit addicted to cinnamon. Again, I heard it's really good for you, but I've never, I don't know all the benefits. So yeah, I just like to put a little bit of that on the top there. And then, where's the lid gone? There's the lid. Just put the lid on. And now comes the fun part, because you can, oh no. <laughs> I haven't sealed that properly, have I? Give that a really good, well, it's fun for the video. I'm gonna get another box and give that a really good shake and I'll be back in a second. 12 seconds later. Right guys, I'm just transferring it to a much better uh, container. So I've got one of my, yeah, you should get some of these, the lock and lock boxes, they are good. Well, we'll test it out in a second. Get rid of that rubbish one there. So get that nicely sealed up, give that a really good shake, there we go, nothing coming out, <laughs> really really good shake and then yeah just leave that in the fridge for yeah you probably want to leave it for about two or three hours, probably best overnight and then yeah it's going to see it sort of congeal into this really gooey sort of really healthy breakfast and then you can add things like bananas, um, some of the frozen fruits as well. Um, onto the top. So moving on to number three, which is granola. Now I know you can buy this in the supermarket. 
and the cost of making it yourself versus just buying it is probably going to be about the same. But uh, what you find with a lot of the stuff in the supermarket, they add a lot of sugar and a lot of extra bits and pieces like that. Never really good for you. So I always just try and make a bit for myself. And you make a, load, a big batch and then it lasts for about a month in the cupboard. So you're good to go. So yeah, this is what I do. Um, so again, rolled oats, um, buy them on Amazon, wherever. I'll link everything down below anyway. Um, you want 300 grams of these. Um, again, I, I prefer like the, the jumbo oats. They're a little bit, little bit bigger, uh, a little bit tastier. So yeah, three, 300 grams just into a big mixing bowl. Um, okay, just a little bit over there. And then I buy these packets of trail mix. Um, these, um, I got these in Tesco's, I think these are about £1.50 for 300 grams. So I'm trying to put about, probably about 700 grams of extra bits and pieces in. So yeah, chuck in all of those and um, probably about half of another bag there. Um, and then I like to also add in some of the seeds. So I've got some uh, sunflower seeds. Add those in, and some of the uh, pumpkin pumpkin seeds there as well. And then yeah, you've then just created um, your whole sort of mix there of stuff. So just give that a really, really good mix around. My hands are clean. Um, yeah, I'll probably just add a little bit more of the trail mix to that. So yeah, 300 grams of oats and then probably about six to 700 grams of extra bits of nuts and stuff. So in here we've got almonds, uh, sultanas, little bits of dried banana, um, all of the shredded coconut as well, that's really good. And yeah, so for all of that, that's probably about, about four or five pounds. And then you've got enough granola there to last for, yeah, probably, um, Probably about four or five decent portions. Um, yeah, so then to that, now we need to go into the kitchen to make up what's gonna sort of congeal all of that together. So we'll see you in the kitchen in a sec. Right guys, welcome to the kitchen. So yeah, just get yourself a nice sort of thick bottom pan and then we're gonna add three things into that. So we need some coconut oil, um, which yeah, you can get and just sort of keep that in the cupboard. Um, probably about four or five pounds for something like that. And then you want to put um, sort of three to four, my tablespoons are quite small, three to four tablespoons, about three and a half tablespoons into the pan. Um, just to, yeah, if you, if you keep it in the fridge and it goes all solid, but my, I keep one in the cupboard so it's quite liquid already. And also add in two to three uh, tablespoons of honey, or again, as I said in the previous one, use the agave nectar, or maple syrup is another one that some people like tried in there. So um, yeah, three to four, sorry, two to three tablespoons of honey. Just get that mixed in nicely there. I should really use that silicone stuff in there and um, then also add in um, two tablespoons of cinnamon um, I really like cinnamon put it in a lot of stuff um, so just add add that in just for that's a massive one there so just one more do just that add in add that in for a little bit of extra flavoring and then you're going to end up with this uh, let's tilt the camera a little bit this sort of nice gooey mix that we can then put over over our uh, nuts and everything so let's go and combine the two and then we'll get them What's the feedback, Sarah? 
Can you tell because I'm just eating it out of the tub? So guys, this is what the granola looks like. All those lovely nuts and seeds and oats in there. And then I just add in some, um, or whatever milk you want really. Um, just whack it in, spill it off the balcony there. And then yeah, you're good to go. And sit and have your breakfast in the quite glorious London sunshine. Moving on to number four, which is going to be good old porridge. Now, we've seen this quite a lot today. So, what I want to talk about, not necessarily is porridge, but all the amazing things we can add on once we've made our porridge. It, I view it as it's kind of like the past, tomato pasta of the breakfast, basically. With the way you can do your tomato pasta, you chuck in all these extra veggies and then all the leftovers, chuck it in exactly the same with porridge, and you can turn what is normally quite a bland meal into something really, really exciting. So yeah, there's no real sort of science to it. Um, I'll put some like quantities up on the screen because I just chuck everything in um, like most people do, but I'll put some quantities up just so people got a better idea. So yeah, pas uh, pasta. Porridge is oats in the pan, medium to high heat, and then adding in some milk. Again, I've got my coconut milk here. So add that in, covering it up nicely giving it a stir so that's gonna look something like this and then you just want to leave that to simmer for around about four to five minutes right guys so the porridge is done so there we go just kind of bland porridge that's all there is to it and a pretty healthy meal to have nevertheless but we can make that far more interesting far more flavorful and you're gonna get a lot more out of it by adding some really nice bits in I'm not going to because I'm just making a video, I'm realistically not gonna eat this, I hate wasting food. So I'm just gonna show you some of the things we can add on. So again, you can buy these like little packs of, so this is fruit and nuts. Um, what are we going in here? Like sunflower seeds, apricots, cranberries, pumpkin seeds, blueberries. Again, got that in Tesco's for a couple of pounds. So you can just add that all in. Now, if you're not buying frozen fruit, start buying frozen fruit. It's so, so good to have in the house. So this I use all the time, which is just, just says breakfast fruit topper. Does what it says in the tin. So yeah, normally obviously keep that in the pan for a bit longer. Just mix some of this in, let it defrost, and then you've got a load of fruit in there. And yeah, that will keep in the fridge for what, like six months or so. So really helpful and handy to have. Blueberries, really good antioxidant food. Get this in there, makes it really nice and purple. Um, add in some bananas, chop those up. Uh, I've got some pumpkin seeds. Um, if you have got fresh fruit, fresh strawberries and stuff here, add those in. Bit of honey over the top. Chia seeds, get get those on, on top as well. What, if, what else have we got here? All of this sort of stuff. Sultanas, add them in, give them a good mix. A little bit of blackcurrant jam is quite nice. Um, and peanut butter of course as well, you can add that in. So as you can see, you can just put so much stuff in here that you just have around the house. It's all really easy, keep it in the freezer, but I'd really recommend if you're not buying things like this in the supermarket, go out and get some of this sort of stuff. It just takes about a minute to defrost. Once it's in the porridge, just keep it, keep it on the stove for just about a minute longer. Add some of this in, give it a good mix around. You've got a really healthy, healthy breakfast there. So give it a go guys. Number five, here we have it. This is my race day breakfast. So pretty much every race I've done in the last few years has been having bagels with peanut butter and jam or jelly, as I think most Americans like to call that, um, with, some, oh dear, with some bananas into the mix as well. So yeah, bagel, cut up, just down the middle, um, for race day, always going for like the white, um, yeah, white, standard white bagel like that, not all the sort of fibrous whole wheat stuff. During the week and things, like, that's probably what I'll go for, but don't want too much fibre on race day because it can play with your insides a little bit. So yeah, that just goes in the toaster, standard toaster for however long, a couple of minutes just to get it nice and crispy and then yeah as i say to add on to that um we've got the peanut butter so get yeah get this off 
Amazon really good stuff and I'm gonna be having one bagel about three hours before the race starts so luckily some of the races in, in the UK do actually start quite late so like London Marathon is 10 o'clock so I'll be having a bagel about well probably two bagels at seven o'clock with three hours to go then I'll have another bagel at eight o'clock with two hours before the race starts so yeah if I'm feeling if I'm lucky then I'll probably just have three with this because you get some good energy out of the nuts and then um, yeah a bit of sort of sweetness sugary hit from the jam as well so that's kind of done super hot um, yeah don't put any spread on there so I just just whack all of this super goodness on sometimes this peanut butter can separate quite a lot um, which is good because it's only got peanuts in it pretty much just organic roasted peanuts whole with the skin on a hundred percent that's what you need to be looking for on your ingredients list just nuts nothing else added and then yeah to that there's no great science to all of this running quite fast malarkey just good so this is you can use any jam it doesn't really matter um, but I quite like this so this is black currant jam out of Sainsbury's actually bought that the day before Liverpool Marathon <laughs> we've managed to bring it all the way back home um, and yeah that's that's kind of it so yeah I'll be having three of these as I say in a lead up to a race two with three hours to go and then one with two hours to go and then yeah some bananas into the mix as well and then in terms of fluids and things going to be having some like electrolyte drinks and some uh, general of like the science and sport go energy drinks as well so that is my race day meal so there we have it guys they are my four super easy super quick breakfast and my race day breakfast as well to give you some ideas of, of just how easy and quick it can be to get some really good breakfast into the mix. So yeah, overnight oats, chia pudding, granola, this stuff is super good. Sarah's been snacking on it as I've been making this and it's going down already. Um, and then yeah, get your race day bagels in there. And of course the porridge as well. One thing to take away, get some frozen fruit in your life, the blueberries, this whole bag here for three pounds, super good. Um, out of Tesco's and yeah just just get some of that and just keep it in the freezer and it's always there ready to go so thanks very much for, 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 for following along guys um, if you like what you see then leave me a comment below and let me know let me know what you're doing for your breakfast and we can share some great ideas um, with what's happening out there as well so please give this video a like if you if you like this kind of thing subscribe and turn on notifications and then you'll see all of my new videos coming up now I'm off for my run now, and I'll see you in the next one. See you then. Bye.